Hey there, has this ever happened to you? You get a message saying, hey, I've got another friend request from you, but we're already friends. Well, something evil is happening in your Facebook account. No, you haven't been hacked, but in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly what it is and what you can do to prevent it. Hey, it's Michael Creasy here, executive editor with Agent Inner Circle from agentinnercircle.com. Here I am inside of Facebook and I am on my friend's page. And it's Lauren Andrews. If you're looking for a great mortgage broker in Ontario, Canada, give Lauren a call. Now, look down here at this post. It says, please let me know if you've received a second friend request. So what's happening here is somebody has, I'm not going to use the word hacked his account, but they've copied his account. And what you'll see is that's him posting, you know, basically allowing all his friends to know something things going on here but you may have received something like this a message and I'll click this and you can see it and basically what that message is saying hey I've received uh, for another friend request from you and uh, I just want to let you know hey by uh, by all means please uh, hold down this button and share this with all your friends to let them know that your account has been hacked or somebody else is doing malicious things well if I were to do that what's happening is I am now notifying my friends and this person whoever sent me that is now uh, able to capture my friends whoever I send this to. So whatever you do, don't acknowledge those stupid things. If somebody has, they haven't hacked your account, what they've done is in all likelihood, in this case, let's look at Lauren, they've right clicked, they've copied his image, and they've created a bogus account, a bogus Facebook account using his name and his uh, profile photo. Now, what they're after is this. This is the, the holy grail, the bag of gold, his friends list. And you can see here, it doesn't show how many friends he has because Lawrence updated his settings since this has happened. So let me show you what I mean. If I hit friends, you'll see 65 people displayed here because we have 65 mutual friends. That's why they're displaying here. But what people are after is that friends list because what they'll do now is they'll send out these malicious messages. And what they're after is, as I said, to build the list. And two, they're going to be marketing to them. They're going to try to sell them something or annoy them or say, hey, Lauren's stuck in a Mexican prison. Please send money so I can get out. I'm kind of stretching the truth a little. But ultimately, what they're after is the friend list. So to stop this in its tracks what you need to do is go to this drop down menu here at top right we're looking for settings going to privacy and privacy we're after this one here now you may want to review all these uh, different selections here but this is the one I'm after right now who can see your friends list and as you can see in my case I've already got it set for only me and if I go to edit there's a drop down menu and you can select who gets to see your friends list. I would highly suggest that you s select the only me. So if somebody hits your friend list only, they won't see anybody. Only you will see that list. And again, it's because they're trying to rip that list off so they can spam them. Another thing you may want to take a look at why we're here under uh, privacy, go to timeline and tagging. Hit that one, and these two here are, are, are critical concern for me because I'm a public figure. Review posts you're tagged in before they appear on your timeline. Review tags people add to your post before they appear on your Facebook timeline. And same thing, you just hit edit, and then you can enable it, as you can see in my case. Because if somebody tags me, I want to know who's tagged me before it appears on my page. I want to have control of that. Now, I can't control what they do on their site or on their page, but I can control what appears on my page. And so basically, let's review this one more time. Under privacy here at the top, we go to settings, we go to privacy, and we're looking for this box here that says, who can see your friends list, hit edit, and then select only, only me. Now, let me show you one more thing while we're here. Now, I'm back on Lauren's page, and if I suspect that what he sent me or the that bogus friend request is a, a bogus page, what I can also do, notice these three buttons here. This is after you've protected your friends, by the way. Uh, click here, and I'm looking for this one here that says give feedback or uh, on the profile and I'm um, after this tab here that says fake account and if I hit send Facebook will now receive this and it will notify them that I think that this is a fake page or a fake account they'll review it and they'll take action so again that's how simple it is to stop this and one more thing while we're here 
If you haven't done so already, please go over to our page, Agent Inner Circle. Give us a big like and start following us. We have great content that we put out here. Every single week, we release a new video and an article. And by all means, make sure you go over to agentinnercircle.com. That's our blog and subscribe. So once again, it's Michael Creasy here, the executive editor with Agent Inner Circle. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And as always, give us a big like, a share, and leave a comment below.